Hi Pisces, welcome to your Love Connection reading for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media links, um, Pisces playlist are also down there, so please do go check that out. Tons of information. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. All your support really does mean a lot to me, helping the channel grow and flourish, getting the messages out to those who need to hear them. Thank you so much for being a part of that and really helping the channel. It really does help, and I thank you. Okay, Pisces. Love connection reading. This can be any kind of connection with somebody you have in mind right now. Um, they do have to be aware, though, of who you are. It can't be someone that you like and they have no clue who you are, like they don't even know you, like someone you see every day from afar, like maybe at the coffee shop and they never even seen your face, but you see them and you get a crush. You have to have some sort of actual connection whether it's just making eye ta eye contact every day or you say hi every day or you're friends but you like each other whatever it is you could be separated you could be married you could be dating whatever your situation is here we'll see what comes out for you so this is whoever you have in mind so i hope everyone's doing well coming into fall happy early halloween all right so for pisces Love connection reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out with the Zodiac deck here, that's totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. All right. Don't get too caught up on the reading. If it's not resonating, then obviously it's not your reading. Please don't leave me com uh, comments that my reading is wrong because then I'm just not picking up on your energy. So, um, Or don't unsubscribe either because um, the next reading may be for you. Um, I don't know if I have been having a lot of unsubscribers, so I don't know if they get a good reading and the next reading they don't resonate, so then they unsubscribe. I don't really know, but I mean, I am subscribed to a lot of readers and I never resonate with every single reading, but I don't unsubscribe. So, <laughs> all right. So we have Scorpio, fellow water sign. Some of you could be dealing with a fellow water sign, a Scorpio. If not, totally fine. Or maybe they just have Scorpio in their chart sun moon rising or venus all right so let's see Ooh, cards are alive all right for pisces so the first thing i'll do is get an overall love connection energy between the two of you and then i'll get one for you one for your person how you're feeling about each other feeling about uh the connection now i'll make two sides and then i'll do connective energy but if I say this is you, but you don't feel like it's you, you feel like the other side is you, then please flip-flop, swap energies all throughout this reading anytime you see fit. That's how tarot works. Some parts resonate, some parts don't. You only take what resonates. Flip-flop, swap the energies however you see fit at any point in time. Okay, because it's not a personal reading, so just to make that clear. These are general collective readings for Pisces. There are thousands and thousands of Pisces, so it can be mixed energy, and you only take what resonates. All right, so Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What is the love connection energy between Pisces? Whoa, my person. That just went phew, flying out. Okay, we have slow down. When you are excited, well, you two are excited about each other. You get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. And that is number nine. So nines are about almost coming to an end of a completion of something here. I think you want this connection to progress like really, really fast because it's telling you to slow down. Or maybe you two are just uh, connecting and progressing like super fast. And this is telling you to slow down a little bit. Could be the connective energy, the two of you, or you, or them, however that, you know, maybe they want to rush ahead, or you want to slow down, or, you know, you want to rush ahead, they want to slow down, maybe you're both rushing forward in this connection, like taking it really fast, and, you know, the universe is trying to tell you, slow down a little bit here, you know, I know you're excited about each other, but, <laughs> all right, so, let's get one. 
for you, one for them. Spirit, please, thank you so much for Pisces. Wait, that one there, that one there. Okay. So, on this side here, I'll say it's you, but like I said, you can flip-flop the energies. All right, so we have love is all around you. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. 16, which is 7, and which is 1 and 6, 7, is a very divinely guided spiritual number. Hmm. And they have rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. 42, which is six, which is about healing, balancing energy. So, okay, so now I'm getting, okay, you, and I had said that at the beginning, I think you want to rush this forward like really quickly, but with this rest and relaxation, I think they want to take a little more of a slower approach here. Like they want it to be just very balanced and moving forward because that four and two is six is about very balanced energy. They just want to be very, it to be very balanced between the two of you moving forward and not to like rush it so much like a slow and steady approach all right so i'm supposed to take the bottom of the deck but i shuffled and now we have spiritual connection this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime you know and maybe you know that pisces are very intuitive so maybe you know that this is a very spiritual connection and you have 27 which is nine again about um you know almost coming to a completion so i think if you're just starting like at the ace at like say the ace of cups you want to bring this all the way up to completion to the ten of cups like really fast because nine is almost to the ten so i i feel like you want to rush this uh super fast and they want to take a more slow balanced approach all right so Let's clarify your situation. Clarify your connection. Okay, so if I can shuffle this way. One for you, one for your person, couple clarifiers. The nine, <laughs> nine of wands, another nine. Fire energy here, which is having strength, endurance, long hard battle but you're willing to keep fighting on it so you want to just keep going on and on and on and on in this relationship because now you have another nine so it's like you just want i feel like you just want to like you have the strength just to keep going full force in this relationship all right so and they have the four of wands so they're a little bit of a slower approach four of wands completion though this does talk sometimes about twin flame energy but this is Commitment. This can be marriage. This can be um, happy home and family life. Very stable energy. So I feel like here, you know, they do want this commitment with you. They do want that completion with you that you want also. Because like I said, the nine is almost at the completion of ten. So they do want that completion with you, but they're only at a four and you're at a nine. So... <laughs> Um, so yeah, they want to take things a little more slower and um, balance, like I said. But they do do see commitment here with you, and going that you know completion with you, you know going the full circle. All right, so let's get a couple clarifiers. One for you, one for them here. Six of Cups. So again, and we had spiritual connection here. Also, Six of Cups talks about soulmate energy. Can You could have had past lives with this person. That's why there's such a deep spiritual connection. And that's your energy, water here with Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It could be someone you've known from childhood, um, an old friend, someone you went to school with that lived in your neighborhood from your first job, someone you've just known for a very long time, or this is a spiritual connection that you've had past lives with but this is soulmate energy. So you definitely know uh, this is your soulmate. See, and they have temperance here, Sagittarius energy here. The four of wands is also fire. So this could be a uh, fire sign you're dealing with, particularly Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. But a balance again, temperance is all about peace, harmony, balance, patience, energy and uh, people reconnecting, coming back together. So definitely here, they definitely want 
like I said, want to go the whole completion with you also, but they want to take a very balanced, practical approach here. And they don't want to rush it so much. All right. So let's get your actual situation. Your actual situation. We have the magician. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The ace of swords. Wow. And the ace of wands. Holy crap. Holy. So the magician connected to you here, which is um, Gemini Virgo energy. Doesn't have to be though. It's just energy. But this is manifesting a brand new beginning. So we have three cards here that just came out all together of all brand new be beginnings. One magician manifesting that brand new beginning using truth, clarity, passion, drive, um, truth and clarity, stability, using it all. And man so you really want to manifest this new beginning. Like you just, you just want it now. <laughs> and connecting to them is the Ace of Wands. So there definitely could be a fire sign here. So very passionate new beginning here. Very exciting. So they definitely have a lot of passion, desire for you. A lot of fire on their side. A lot of fire. And you're also thinking of them because you have the Nine of Wands, which, which is also fire. And connecting the two of you to Ace of Swords, another new beginning here. This is Sword of Victory. This is uh, truth, honesty, clear-cut communication between the two of you. Cutting away things not serving in the relationship or around you. Standing up for one another, standing up for the relationship. This is like divine energy here saying this is the truth and clarity of your relationship. Wow. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Magician, all new beginnings there. Wow. So let's get a couple more clarifiers. That's your situation. So yeah, a lot of passion, truth, clarity, victory, manifesting this new beginning. Wow. So actually those come out that way. So now we have the seven of wands now attached to you on your side for your situation. So this is being defensive on guard, standing up for yourself, not backing down. So you're like fighting. You you have the seven and the nine. So you're really standing up for it. You're fighting for it. You're moving on. You know, you're not backing down. The seven of wands type of energy. And they have the sun, which is Leo. So again, it's the happy home and family, growth, expansion, enlightenment, healing, happiness and joy, success, growth, abundance, everything positive with the sun. So they definitely see you as their sun, their sunshine, what, who they want a happy home and family with, success and victory, growth, abundance, healing with each other. Wow. And that's definitely soulmate energy with the sun. All right, so let's see what your advice is, Pisces. The lovers, wow. And the Wheel of Fortune, wow. another Sagittarius card in Gemini. Two major arcana here. So this advice is that this is your soulmate with the Gemini lovers energy. And the Wheel of Fortune is here to say that this is fate, destiny, divine timing, Go, things going in a better direction. So your advice is to keep making positive movement forward here with the divine wheel of fortune with your soulmate. Wow. So we got Gemini, Sagittarius again. All right, so let's get some more clarifiers. So now we have the Eight of Swords. Uh-oh. And the Ten of Pentacles. So, like I said... <laughs> For your advice, you have the Ten of Pentacles. You will have the Ten of Pentacles, the full completion with this person. This is the full completion of two people coming together, sharing all their resources, their happy home and family, their love, their resources, legacy, family legacy here. But you're stuck in your head. Like you're, you can't get out of your own thoughts, out of your own way. It's like, I want it now. It's got to happen now. What if it doesn't happen? You know, it has to happen now. I think that's, your energy is like, I'm afraid it won't, my Ten of Pentacles with this person won't happen. And I'm just really caught up in that. And I just want to make it happen now so I don't lose it. Wow. All right, so let's see. And that could be, you know, slow down. It's telling you to slow down. This is a soulmate spiritual connection, so I don't think you have to worry here. The Queen of Wands. So now you got fire energy here as your outcome. 
Leo Sagittarius, so there's definitely their energy. So they're here. You, here they are in your outcome. So yeah, this is very fiery, passionate energy, very determined energy. Goes after what they want with a lot of uh, vigor and success. So yep, that that's their energy. So that is your outcome. You will have this person. You will go the full circle with this person. Um, you will have completion with this person. Very strong bond here. Soulmate. Could be, possibly be twin flame. All right. So let's get more. So you got the five of swords for your possible outcome. To clarify the queen of wands. Wow. So now you have the five of swords. That's kind of defeat at all costs. Very ego-driven kind of energy, selfish energy. In the Four of Cups, that's feeling bored and contempt, you know, not sure about any office coming in, going out. Should I give them? Should I accept them? Should I give it? Should I not give it? Offers, you know, but the offer is right there. So as much as you want to win this at all costs, get ahead, get with this person at all costs here, and have your out outcome faster, it's telling you... Um, not to feel this way that you won't have this person because you will so there's not a need here to be selfish and defensive and defeat at all cost kind of energy because your outcome is their energy with the queen of wands so all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so this definitely is a soulmate relationship they definitely want they do want this to with you full completion of this too but they want to take a slow practical approach and you just want to rush it really fast like let's go get a loop now you know and they're like let's just slow it down and you know take our time so on the bottom of the deck we have the two of wands fire energy again so this is about making plans decisions for the future moving forward together twos are about unity prince of cups so here's um the knight of cups so here's the offer coming in the action the movement of some kind of love offer affection coming in cancer scorpio pisces justice here so this can speak of things in the justice department it doesn't have to be um some of you could have been newly divorced and now you're moving on with your true soulmate some of you uh, this is just bringing justice and justice and balance and clear open communication between the two of you bringing justice into the situation that's a libra so we have the three of pentacles, earth energy here. So here's teamwork working together, a slow, steady approach. Pentacles are very slow. So very slow, practical approach working together. Now you got the four of pentacles. So this will be a very stable, grounded relationship that you can hold on to. Princess of Cups. Page of Cups, messages, you know, words of affection, love, messages back and forth. And there's a victory, the Six of Wands, success and victory between the two of you. Messages of love, uh, affection between the two of you, very stable relationship you can hold on to, working together for the long term, bringing justice into the situation with the offer coming in and making plans and decisions moving forward for your future. All right, so let's get some more clarity for you. Extra messages and this love connection, Pisces. Again, if um, they don't have to be Scorpio, um, they can have Scorpio in their chart. I didn't really get. I mean, we do have a lot of cups here, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but that's also your energy too. Scorpio in the uh, Scorpio represents two cards in the tarot represents death and it re represents judgment and death is the end of something but then there's transformation in a new beginning and then uh, in like a rebirth and then there's the judgment which it which is resurrection forgiveness um, reconnecting coming back together making a final de decision judgment call so if that means anything to anyone all right, so let's get more messages. The warrior, again, because you have the nine of wands there. 
uh, over here, I believe. No, you have the Nine of Wands that came out right under here. So the Warrior. So that's like the Nine of Wands energy here, which is two. Two is about unity, people coming together. So Warrior here, you really want to, you know, fight, fighting for this relationship, standing up for one another, not backing down in this connection. Being the wounded warrior, no matter what you've been through, you still have the power and the energy to move forward in a new direction. Because you have all one, one, one new beginnings here. I don't have any energy here of like coming out of something that has ended for you. Um, I mean, we did have justice there, but that could be just bringing justice into this connection. And we have belonging, house of night. So you will belong to one another. You will be in the same house and belong to one another. <laughs> house of night 41, which is five. So there will be change in this relationship. It will change in the direction that you want it to go into. You want, you want the change you want so quickly, it will happen. So you don't have to worry here and you definitely will belong to one another and you will be sharing the 10 of pentacles together in the same dwelling. Wow. That's kind of like, Fairy tale-ish. <laughs> okay. And then we have loyalty. 33. Three is teamwork, collaboration. Six, balance. Again, healing balance and loyalty. Very loyal to one another. Very loyal. Wow. All right, let's see if there's anything else. I'm going to shuffle a little bit. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Focus. So, and then we have the Archer there, which does remind me of Sagittarius. So we have a lot of Sagittarius energy here. Remember, I can be picking up past, present, or future energy. That means anything to uh, some of you. But we have focus. So it's being very focus-driven on this uh, connection. We have one and seven, 17, which is eight, which is about action, taking action, communication, travel. So... They definitely are focused on you. You're focused on them, focused on the connection. There will be movement, action in this connection, communication. Things will move forward. But um, I don't think you have to worry. I think you're worried and you like you want to lock them down now because you're afraid you may lose them for some reason or something like that. Or you just want it so badly. It's like you want it now. But they, they just want to take a slow, practical approach and they definitely want you for the long haul for the long term for the full completion of the ten of pentacles pisces if this doesn't resonate for you you can check the description box below for past playlists maybe something there will resonate for you i would say disregard the dates you find a title catch your eye and say watch it anyway good luck to you here in your situation if you do like the way i read please do like share subscribe and comment i love to read the comments if you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four a month, and they're all different. So I'm adding a couple new readings, so you get four readings a month. And uh, thank you so much if you do. And good luck to you here, and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.